Hi, my name is Tola Kay, and I'm the author of the best-selling Survival Guide series, which is available on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and iBooks. And this is the seventh in a series of instructional films. Today I'm going to be talking about the Kindle Fire. I'm going to show you how to adjust the settings. So we're going to talk about everything from adjusting the brightness to setting screen password. Okay, let's begin. First I'd like to show you how to adjust the brightness. And if you reduce the brightness, you can actually reduce the strain on your eyes from the screen and also conserve some battery life. So to reduce the brightness, or to adjust it, I'm going to touch the settings icon. It's very small at the top right corner of the screen. It's right next to the battery level indicator. And after touching that, this settings screen appears. I'm going to touch brightness. And now I'm going to touch the slider slide it to the right to increase the brightness or slide it to the left to decrease it. And that is how you adjust the brightness on the Kindle Fire. Next I'd like to show you how to set the screen timeout which is the amount of time the Kindle Fire will wait before automatically locking itself. If you find yourself often leaving the Kindle unlocked or if you have kids who just leave it around the screen can actually really kill the battery life very quickly. So. To set the screen timeout, I'm going to touch this little settings icon at the top right again, and then touch more. So I'm going to touch display, and touch screen timeout. And it gives me options anywhere from 30 seconds to an hour. Right now I have it selected as never, which is another option, and that means it will never lock itself automatically. You can still lock it by using the power button, however. So, if I choose 30 seconds, for instance, it will now lock itself after 30 seconds of being idle. So just like this, if I just don't touch it, it will lock itself. So for now, I'm going to set it back to never, so it doesn't lock itself while I'm recording this video. And that is how you set the screen timeout on the Kindle Fire. When you first take your Kindle Fire out of the box, you might notice that there are no volume buttons anywhere on the device. Now this makes for a very minimalistic design where everything can be controlled using the touch screen. But not to fear, adjusting the volume is actually very easy. To adjust the volume, we're going to touch the little settings icon at the top right. And then one of the settings window appears. I'm going to touch volume, which is right here. And then touch the slider. I'm going to drag it to the left and it plays a beep just to give you an example of what the volume is going to be like. And we can drag it to the right to increase the volume. That is how you adjust the volume on the Kindle Fire. Whenever you receive a new email, the Kindle Fire can notify you by playing a sound, the notification sound. Now, you can customize the sound in the settings. To do so, I'm going to touch the settings icon and then touch more and touch sounds and touch notification sounds and it gives you a list of the available sounds so I'll give you some examples here you can also set it to be silent to do that just touch the screen move it down at the top of the list select silent it will not play any sounds when a new email arrives. And that is how you set the notification sounds on the Kindle Fire. If you store sensitive data on your Kindle Fire, or if you have kids and you don't want them to access your device, you can always set a lock screen password, which will require a password every time you try to unlock the Kindle. To do this, touch the settings icon at the top right, and then touch more, and then touch security, and where you see the switch next to the lock screen password, we're going to touch it and turn it on. Now it's going to ask you for the password that you want. So just for demonstrative purposes, I'm going to type in AAAA, touch OK. It's going to ask you for the same password again, just to confirm. I'm going to type in AAAA again, touch OK, and the password is set. Now, if I were to lock the Kindle, and then try to unlock it, it will ask me for a password, and I'm going to type AA, 
AA, touch OK, and my Kindle Fire is unlocked. And that is how you set a lock screen password on the Kindle Fire. It's an additional note about the lock screen password. You can always turn it off by touching the settings icon and touching more. Touch security just like we did before. And as you can see it's turned on at the moment. So I'm going to touch the switch to turn it off and it's going to ask me to enter the current password. So I'm going to enter AAAA, touch OK, and as you can see the switch is now turned off and the lock screen password is turned off. If you're traveling and don't have access to a Wi-Fi network, the Kindle Fire can't set the time and date automatically. In this case, you might wish to do it manually. To do so, touch the settings icon at the top right, and then touch more, and then touch date and time. And then to demonstrate, I actually turned off Wi-Fi, but as you can see, it still says that it's automatically setting the date and time. For some reason, it doesn't actually turn the switch off automatically. So to set the date and time, you're going to want to touch the switch, and now the set time, set date options become available. Touch set time, and you can use these plus and minus buttons to set the hour and the minute. You can also touch right in that window there, and then use these keys down here to set the actual time. And when you're done, touch save, and it's set. And you can do the exact same thing for the date. And you can adjust the date there. You can even type in the month or the day and the year. And then when you're done, again, touch save. On the screen, you can also select the time zone. So if you would just like to set the time zone, not the date and time, you can touch that. And then select the time zone from the list, and the new time zone is set. And that is how you set the date, time, and time zone on the Kindle Fire. Some keyboard settings on the Kindle Fire are customizable. To access the keyboard settings, touch the settings icon at the top right, and then touch more, and touch Kindle Keyboard at the bottom of the list. And there are three options that you can customize. The first one is sound on key press, and this will make the Kindle Fire uh, make a sound every time you touch a key on the keyboard. There's auto capitalization, which will automatically capitalize the first word of every sentence, and quick fixes, which will automatically fix any common typo that you may have in the text. And to turn on one of these features, you can touch the switch, and you can touch it again to turn it off. And that is how you adjust the keyboard settings on the Kindle Fire. Finally, I'd like to show you how to connect to a Wi Fi network. Now, if you perform first-time setup and are already connected to Wi-Fi network, that's great. Uh, but if you want to connect to another network, this will be useful for you as well. To connect to Wi-Fi network, touch the settings icon at the top right, and then touch Wi-Fi. And if it's off, then touch the switch to turn it on. And then after a moment, you'll see the available networks in your area. And I'm going to connect to home. Now it's going to ask you for a password if you have one on the network. This can usually be found on your router, or if you set it up yourself, you probably already know it. So I'm going to enter the password. And when I'm done entering the password, you touch Connect, and then the Kindle Fire will connect to the network after a few moments. And that is how you connect to Wi-Fi network on the Kindle Fire. Those are all the tips I have for you today. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments, or check out my Kindle Fire Survival Guide, which is available on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and iBooks. And while you're there, check out my other survival guides, which cover everything from e-readers to tablets to smartphones. And thank you very much for watching, and subscribe if you like this video, and check out my other videos. Thanks again. See you next time.